Hello and welcome to another video. Tonight's video is the final round of the PLR Euro Series. With the championship already sewn up by Bennett, with one round to go, this one is more of a fun run and people uh, for pride and trying to finish off on, the, on a good one ready for the new season or ready for the PC world for a couple of them. Tonight's round is at Hungary in the Hungaro ring. Its length is 4.3 kilometres, it has 14 corners and it was founded in 1986 with quite a new track. Uh, the track temperature today is 26 degrees, air temp 24 and the time of the race will be 5 o'clock at night. And it's going to be a wet one, it's going to be raining and it is going to be chucking it down. This will be the first taste for the PLR boys in, uh, in the wet so... God only knows is what's going to happen, hopefully a nice clean race. And let's get stuck into the action. So here we are on board, well, on the helicopter view focusing on yours truly. And away we go. So we qualified in P5. How are we all going to do into the first corner? We've struggled a few times with the first corners, but no, we've all made it through. The most aggressive person there was probably me, giving Chaz a, a right nose full there and saying, you ain't coming through, sunshine. Here we go down to turn three, Troy and Matt next to each other, uh, there's a Mercedes going wide there, I think that's McDoodle, he has some serious pace around here as well, it's such a shame that he's, he's getting swallowed up and I think he had a few issues as well that cost him uh, the, the race, but it was such a shame because he had some serious pace in qualifying, he was like rapid. Oh, Matt has gone sideways, Chaz has gone sideways, that's a loud and thing, yes, very good, there we go, right. On to lap one, I think, and we're on board with Chaz going a little bit wide here. That allows, I think, a Bentley to get past, and another Bentley of Killshark Racer right behind him. This is just after one lap, so it's all kicking off, and we've got a gaggle of cars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven of them all there. Is that good? I'm going to have to change changing uh, helicopter view to see who we've got now we've got spring burrito ahead of mcdoodle and cool shark racer going down the home straight two bry with one in front going three abreast this doesn't work oh maybe it does these guys know what they're doing the improvement has been brilliantly brilliant to watch this series you know we have it all nice and cleaning through no mistakes there Chaz goes wide a little wide again there he's struggling a little bit at the early stages of this race but just pushing to find the limits in this race it's ever changing And here we are, a couple laps late, later, Kulshat Racer and McDoodle still at it. Bentley versus Mercedes, the two powerhouses of the grid. Side by side into turn one, a very popular overtaking manoeuvre. Kulshat Racer keeps the line though, keeps defence very, very well. Nowhere that McGoogle could go. And there we have it, nice, nicely done by the two of them, nice try and overtake, but very, very good defending by Cool Shark Racer then. Up the back straight into the fast left hand kink, can easily go wrong, especially in the wet. But no, all sorted, oh no, oh, oh, is he going to hold it? No, he hasn't, oh, that's so unfortunate for Cool Shark Racer, that was turning into a great little battle.
here we are a little bit further back down the grid in for 10th and you've got Roach and I think Woodenator Audi versus Ferrari uh, these two cars are tricky in the wet trying to slide up the inside there is Woodenator can he get on the accelerator not quite not quite able to do it by the way these two cars look lovely in yellow and we've got another Ferrari uh, joining the, field, the, the fold as well going through the left kink oh Roach has just touched onto the white paint white and green paint that's just sent him around yep yeah, no yep yeah, they've all they've all stayed in a straight line Ferrari versus Ferrari these two seem to be very close to each other most races it's so easily done that just go a little bit wide get a little bit of a slide and in the wet you've got no chance of holding it he did extremely well to put it back in a straight line Here we are back at the front on board with uh, me chasing Bennett and Troy behind me. Got a really good exit there, slipstream behind the McLaren. Good defending there. We go for the outside, we break. Troy gets very close side by side around the f first corner. We're going to go for the outside, but we're onto the AstroTurf. There is no grip out there, Graham, and Troy is able to go through. Here's what that looks like from my on board. Six laps in, a lot of action so far. That's terrible driving, Greg. Oh. No cat, come back. After that little spin there, that's put me uh, back a few places and I'm now behind Ferbaton. It'd be rude not to me and Ferbaton to have a little battle before his adventures off to the PC world, wouldn't it?
half Herbiton, why do you have to bugger off to the DPC? It's always great battle, isn't it? Always great, always a good battle. Here we have round the pit stop area I think here so you've got Bennett and Troy that have made their pit stop Roach hasn't made his pit stop but has every right to fight this and good on him giving Bennett a good battle here but Bennett's just able to sneak around the outside Roach is not giving up though he's battling with the the guys at the front here, very, very good. Nice to see. Troy's got a good exit there, Royce was just onto the, the kerb a little bit there which just hampered his traction. We've just gone a little bit wide onto that AstroTurf that allows Troy and me both through there. No nonsense, Mike Mumu tries to do the same but runs wide onto the grass, this looks hairy and that was sort of inedible, inedible really wasn't it then. Matty Mumu onto the grass, no no grip, especially in the wet, and it was just a sitting duck there, unfortunately, for Roach, but they both managed to stay in a straight line, which is good. No, no, Graham. No, Graham. You pillar. Now accelerate. Come on, Ferrari. Every horsepower you've got. Everything you've got, Ferrari. Turn, he's gone. Go, go, come on, Ferrari. Accelerate. Right. To the well done, Ferrari. <sighs> Breathe. Unfortunately, the last 20 25 minutes of this race was a very, very quiet one, and I ran out of replay, so I didn't get, unfortunately, didn't get any of the other action. But here's the race results Bennett was in first, uh, I came in second, and Matty Moo Moo came in third. It's the same results as the last race, just in a slightly different order. Big congratulations to Bennett there. And here's the championship positions Bennett is the championship winner with 220, Ferbaton in second with 167, a great way to finish off his Xbox endeavours, and Taylor and me were in third with 133 points. Again, big big congratulations to Bennett, and uh, good luck to Ferbaton and Mangle and Taylor, I think, who are going off into the PC world and leaving us Xbox uh, cronies behind. And again, thank you very much for everybody who has watched the videos and has participated in the PLR series. Uh, the new series will be coming up in a few weeks' time, so please get involved. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.